Right, I want Sweaty Lambert and a bottle of Smirnoff. I don't think so. Why? ID? It's in the post, man. We've been through this before. No ID, no sale. I'm 22. Beth, tell him. Of course he's 22. He's been 22 for years. Shut up, Beth. I'm 22, man. Hey, I saw that. Out of my shop, you thieving little bastard. Hey, uh... What are you calling bastard, you? Whoa, we didn't steal nothing, mate. Leave. Who the fuck do you think you are, you? I said leave. Or what? Fucking what? Get out of my shop! You hear me? Thieving little bastard! Why are you fucking back? Wanker. The fuck's he... What's all that about? The fuck's he think he is pulling a bat out on us? Oi, we still got shitloads of free stuff, though. It's not the point, Bez. He tried to fucking kill us. Not really. I said he tried to kill us. I'm not going to let him get away with this fucking swinging a bat around like he owns fucking place. Well, probably does. What? You've got to start sticking up for yourself, boys. The pe people are going to keep pushing you around. Why don't we just call the police and get him arrested? What, and let you two get locked up for nicking sweets and that? I won't, I won't let the police do that to you, lad. I've got a plan. We're going to turn up tomorrow. First thing, they're just fucking charging and take whatever we want. Take something to threaten him, we. Teach that fucking prick a lesson. My uncle's got a dog. Good, yeah, good. Bring that. We've got to take the law into our own hands, boys. This is the right thing to do, yeah? Right, come on. Let's see if Keith's mum's got any bud knocking about. When you fucking fat space when you come.
Oh, look, it's Robin Hood and his band of merry men. Shut up, Abdul. A thief and a racist. Well, at least I'm not a tosser. <laughs> Good one, <laughs> Tyrone. <laughs> Tyrone, isn't that normally a name for a black man? Fuck off! Now who's being racist? Tyrone's a perfectly good name for anyone, all right? And, uh, are you the leader of this little gang? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. I'm the leader of this gang. And who are these two other jokers here? My name's... Shut up, Bez! This is Barry. We call him Bez. Big Bez. Big fucking hard Bez! Shouldn't he be called the Baz if his name is Barry? That's a good point. No! Oh. Shut up! We've already got a Baz living round here, so we call him Bez to save on confusion. Now this, this is Keith. Sorry, Keith, it's just very difficult to make your name sound hard. It's all right, Tara. Now listen here, Rogan Josh. Uh -huh. Empty the fucking till. Or I'll burn this fucking shithole to the ground, man. Are you completely insane? I'm fucking warning you, mate. What makes you think there's any money in this till? Because it's a till. Fuck it, I've had enough of this. Go on. Hang on. Could have brought a light that doesn't work. Thing. Keith, set the dog on him. Get him. Shit, shit, thing, thing, isn't it? Fuck's sake. Did I uh, mention that there are no dogs allowed in the shop? Fuck it. Of it. That's where you're going, you fat dick. <sighs> Got it. Empty the fucking till now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash this place up so bad you'll take a fucking earthquake at it. There is no money in this till, you idiotic little man. I've just opened it. It's seven in the morning. Nobody's bought anything yet. <laughs> Go and find Bez! We'll be back. Think you got the better on us? Bullshit. Think you see me again. Clean this fucking place. Scrub off. Sorry. Forgot my pan. Tyrone, mate, have a little bong to calm yourself down. Fucking twice now. What's twice? Twice now, he's made a fool out of me. Out of us. Who has? Where? Give me that. I need you thinking straight. When someone attempts to rob a shop, you don't laugh in their face. I had a fucking blowtorch for fuck's sake. Yeah, but it didn't work. Yes, I know it didn't work. I was there, you tubby twat. Next time, we prepare. We ready ourselves with better, better weapons, disguises, 
and we learn how the fucking pros do it. Can't we just rob another shop? And we can't just rob another shop, because other shops haven't made us look like prize wankers. You're making me look like a prize wanker in front of Keith. Sorry, Tyrone. Empty fucking pockets, you. What? I need you focusing, you can't be trusted. That's all of it. I'm in. Oh, I'm so in. Good. Let's get fucking blazed, boys! <laughs> I'm gonna be Al Pacino. Tony Montana, you mean? Al Pacino's the actor. Yeah, <laughs> Tony Montana. Well, you're not, because I'm Montana. Why do you get to be Montana? You look not like him. And you do? Fat dick. Anyway, it was leader of this gang. Since when did we become a gang? Since that shopkeeper tried to kill us. Exactly. So I'm Montana. Look how fucking mean you get. That's what we need to do, man. We need to get right up in his fucking face. Oh, right, 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 right. So who can I be? I don't fucking know, do I? Why don't you be, uh, Mr Blobby, yeah? I'm sure that'll be effective. Is Mr Blobby a gangster? Yeah! Yeah, he is, yeah. He's in that film, uh, Goodfellas. Have you seen it? No, but I've got it down here. We'll stick it on next. I'm sure I've seen Mr Blobby on the telly. Oh, shit, wait. Is Mr Blobby that, uh, pink spotty thing on those house party? Yeah! Well done, Bess. Good one, yeah, well done. No Edmonds. He's on Deal or No Deal. <laughs> I used to watch that when I was a kid. He's doing gangster films now. I like Deal or No Deal. I mean, it would make sense for Noel to be in a gangster film, but not Mr. Blobby. Do you mean it'd make sense for Noel Edmonds to be in a gangster film? Well? Well, because he looks more of a gangster than Mr. Blobby does. It's because Mr. Blobby's a big fat fucking pink alien with a fucked up clown face. Why would I want that roaming streets with a fucking Tommy gun? Well, that's what I'm trying to say. I could see Noel being in a gangster film, but not Mr. Blobby. Fine, just be Noel Edmonds then. We'll get you like a ginger wig, a shitty beard, and you can be Noel Edmonds, the feared Batman gangster of Manchester. Idiot. I think I'll just stay as myself. Fine, just. Watch the fucking film! Barry, can you pop out? I'll go get some more milk. No, Mum, will you leave us alone? I'm trying to plan a ro- Bez is going as Noel Edmonds. <laughs> Noel Edmonds? Why, what are you planning? Fancy dress party. Bez is going as, uh, Noel Edmonds. From Deal or No Deal? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a cowboy or a policeman. Noel Edmonds. Noel Edmonds, the gangster. Right. And uh, what are you two going as then? Tyrone? Tony Montana. Keith? Al Pacino? Right. Well, have a nice time, whenever it is. Oh, could you make sure, please, that uh, Barry takes his inhaler with him this time? We'll be running out at 2am to go and drop it off. Oh, listen. And if you want some costumes, your dad's got like some hats and stuff in uh, a box at the bottom of the wardrobe. But don't make a mess, though. Mm. See you later.
Bess. Bess. What? What channel? Does deal or no deal come on? Four. You don't know, I am the member of the One People. You found anything? No, just a load of old shit. A couple of balaclavas, though. Isn't there another one? Shotgun. Nope. So you'll have to think of your own disguise. Why me? Do you think one of these is going to fit your fat head? Plus, I'm the leader of this gang. Keith shotgunned it, so it's only fair. Well, why do we even need him? Surely he's going to suspect something if we all walk in wearing these. Because of the CCTV, you thick shit. Do you want to get locked up? Good. Now do as you're told. And think of your own disguise. Fucking hell! So what can I use? Paper bag. There you go. Paper bag. Well done, Keith. I'm not wearing a paper bag on my fucking head. What else do you suggest? I don't even know if we have any paper bags. Plastic bag? There you go, plastic bag. Well done, Keith. Oh, actually. Oh, it's flat, I think. There we go, just check the old, the old sock compartment. There you go, choice of two. In fact. Why have you got so many plastic bags? Uncle's dog. Paper scoop. For fuck's sake! Ah, oh, no, it's right, mate. Just pop a couple of bed eyes out. Two. One for the old mouth. Breathing in that. There we are. You'll be right, mate. You know what, Keith? You've just been promoted to second in command of this gang. What? Thank you, Tyrone. It's all right, mate. So I have to wear a plastic bag on my fucking head, and now I'm last in command of the gang? You want to be equal? Wear the plastic bag. Yeah, mate. If you want to be equal, wear the plastic bag. Fine. That's our best. Now, tomorrow, weapons. Oh, I like the way you think, Sir Tyrone. It's gonna be fucking mental. Bev, what you got? Hang on a minute. Come on, I ain't got a fucking day. Got oh. it. <laughs> what do you think? Scary, eh? Is that a hedge trimmer? That's right, boys. A fucking hedge trimmer. Got a plug, Bez. Yeah, but it's got some nasty fuck off blades and all. Yeah, but it's electric. You've got to plug it in. Just plug it in then, won't I? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. How silly of me. I can't think of anything more terrifying than us charging in there and having to spend the first like five or ten minutes. Looking for a socket so you could plug in your fucking electric edge trimmer, dickhead. Well, what else am I supposed to fucking use then? There's nothing in there apart from old plant pots and garden chairs. Keith, what have you got? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Hmm. <laughs> See that? That's what I'm fucking talking about, man. See that? No plugs. No plugs means no fucking about. No fucking about means less chance of us getting caught, yeah? Oh, I am gonna twat the CCTV camera with this. Good idea, man. Do that as soon as we get in there, yeah? Well, what have you got, then? Fucking hell. Good, isn't it? He's gonna fucking shit his pants. So you take the piss out of me for having an electric edge trimmer, but you've got a gun? A little stupid, isn't it? Where'd you get that from? Tell me, what are you doing? What? It's just a little stupid, eh? Someone feeling a little stupid now, eh? Come on, time, mate.
Tyrone, mate, I was only saying. Not fucking loaded, dickhead. Do you think I fucking pull a loaded gun out on you, man? Why'd come you do on. that? Oh, come on, you're my best mates, man. We're best mates, yeah? Best mates. Do you think I'd pull a loaded gun out on either of you two? It's not gonna be loaded when we actually do it, is it? Of course it isn't, man. I just got it to scare him. God, give me a bit of that. Think about it, that's it. Take it all in, man. Think about it, lads. In a few hours' time, we're gonna have enough fucking money to buy half a year's worth of bud. Well, maybe not with fucking Kilo Key. Mm. <laughs> but seriously, though, lad. Seriously. No one's gonna fuck with us anymore, yeah? We're gonna look out for each other, yeah? Love you two. Like my brothers, yeah? Fuck it, we are brothers, yeah? Two fucking big man brothers! <sighs> we're ready. We're gonna fucking do this, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Damn it. Just a bit. I get you, didn't I? Don't fucking move. Bess! <laughs> Bess, you're right. Bess! You're right, man. Bess, are you right? Give you fucking idiot. I need to buy an inhaler. Done. Nothing. I've sorted things. You, you fucking prick! You, you told me, you promised me that that gun wouldn't be loaded. Mate, hey, I didn't. I Don't didn't. make me, you fucking lying swat! Now look what you've gone and fucking done. Do you know what? For years you've pushed us around. Especially me. Since we were little kids, I've always stood by you. Every time that you got into a fight, who was there to fight with you? Me. Every time that you needed a little bit of money, who was there to fucking give it to you? Me. A few moments ago, I needed some help. And who was there for me? This dopey prick. You were too busy shooting your fucking gun to even realise. What did I do? I didn't know, mate. You're not a mate! You never have been! You only think about yourself. Shut up! 
Don't hurt me, please. Shut up! Keith, go and see if he's all right, yeah? What are you going to do, Ty? Just go! It wasn't them, yeah? It wasn't them! I'm sorry. Over 600 quid. Right. Not a dopey prick, you know. No, you're not, mate. Yeah, we well, shouldn't have really said it then, should you? Look, I don't even think Tyrone even hurt the guy. He was chatting in that before I left. I don't want to talk about it. He was probably just... Try to scare him or something. Probably just shot the floor. Like... I said I don't want to fucking talk about it. That's... Get away, all right, mate. Yeah, I did, yeah, yeah. What's some packets of fags feel like? Let it down, Bez. Let this whole thing uh, get the better of me, and uh, I shouldn't have involved you two at all. Uh, sorry, I lied to you, man. If it's any uh, consolation, I never, uh, I never hurt the guy. <laughs> How does it feel to have a gun pointing at your face? Baz, mate. Good to be honest. How's it feel to be holding one? It scares me. Yeah. Yeah, it scared me too. That's why I never, uh, I never loaded it. Not with real bullets, anyway. I should have been blanks. Shooting blanks. Hey, Keith. Tell him I'm shooting blanks. Get out! Get off me, you dick.
seriously though, man, it'll never happen again. You promise? Tyrone. Tyrone. Catch. <laughs> Go on, <then>. Fuck <laughs> you, motherfucker. Alright. What was that on here? <laughs> Let's listen to some fucking tunes, boys. <laughs> Stick it on, man. Lift me arm! Uh, oh, my fucking head. <laughs> Look at Keith, man, proper drunkie. <laughs> I need some more. I'm fucked! Tyrone, we're fucked! That's my face in there! We're fucked! What the fuck's going on? What are you on about? Shh! Hundreds of youths took to the streets of Salford and Manchester yesterday evening, looting local shops, torching vehicles and attacking police. It is suggested to be a stem from the ongoing violence in London. Riot officers are said to be overwhelmed at the scale of the attack, saying it was an unprecedented act of violence and criminality. CCTV footage from a local corner shop caught what is said to have been the first provoked attack leading to the riots around Manchester. Police are undergoing investigations of three young men believed to be the facilitators. Local Labour MP Graham Stringer says it was coordinated and organised by well-known criminals and gangsters. They were taking the opportunity because of the publicity. It wasn't spontaneous, it was organised. You're listening to the whole book dubstep. Tyrone, we're fucked! we fucked this thing with fucking gangsters! Shut up, shut up a minute, let me think! Why'd you take the fucking bag off your head for? I didn't! Keith did! I, he thought I was choking on my bag, but I wasn't. It was my asthma. I kept telling him it was my asthma! Why don't you take care of CCTV like a all? Alright. 